Dear colleagues, as president of Stockholm University, one of the partner institutions presenting the Gordon Goodman Memorial Lecture, it is with great pleasure that I take part in today's introduction, looking forward to this year's lecture by Sir Andy Haynes. We three partners commonly arranging the lecture complement each other with different profiles, but with research as our common denominator. Research may both explore wicked problems, such as today's important topic of climate change and its impacts on human health, and find solutions of benefit both to human health and to the environment. Whereas fundamental research is a necessary foundation for applications, the urgent need to find research-based solutions and to turn them into policy and action has indeed been accelerated by the climate crisis. If the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences is primarily devoted to promoting research, and a mission for Stockholm Environment Institute is bridging science and policy, Stockholm University, just like any research university, has, I would say, as its main mission to offer higher education based on and closely connected to research. Research and higher education must go hand in hand. In offering courses and programs where researchers communicate to students their new findings on, say, climate change, on health, on sustainability in food systems, in urban systems, or sustainable development in any sense of the word, universities may become real drivers for change. Higher education is by far the university's most important task in contributing to societal development. But without strong research as its base, higher education risks to lose its value. I'm convinced that today's lecture will inspire not only researchers and policymakers, but also students at all levels in our universities. In today's societies, much is at stake to actually turn the threatening visions of climate and health into realizing a sustainable vision for the future. Here we have a common role to play together from our different perspectives, with research, higher education and policy making being developed into action. Thank you.